And now, your KY3 Storm Team forecast. Welcome back. Talking weather with Liz and uh, some rain out there already this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're starting to see a few showers. It's more so as you head toward maybe the Salem or Vienna area, but I think all of us, it may not be a bad idea to grab even the rain jacket to be on the safe uh, side okay. because we're not expecting a downpour, but I do think there is still that chance for some rain showers, especially later we get into the morning before lunchtime. And keep in mind, temperatures, they're really not too bad for this time of the year either. So if the kids are still heading out to the bus stop, they may just need a light jacket. We're seeing clouds for most of us, though, and temperatures in the 50s. I think the better chance for showers, well, it's going to be between about 9 o'clock and noon. Overall, I give today's grade for your weather overall probably about a B because we'll be drying up, bringing along a mostly sunny sky by the time the school day and work day are wrapping up. And watching those temperatures climb into the low 60s, which is not only about a 10 degree jump from yesterday, but within the range of 5 to 10 degrees above what's normal for this time of the year. You notice as we rewind the clock six hours, the Doppler radar is showing that big push of moisture that produced those thunderstorms and even reports of hail up to dime to quarter size last night. Most of those thunderstorms, they started up about eight, nine o'clock at night. And really, as we pause the radar at current time, not too much to talk about. You have to start zooming in toward the Salem area and just off to the east of Vienna as well. Really, it's as you head toward Ellington, so just off to the east of our viewing area that we're starting to see that chance for a few showers. And overall, we haven't seen much with this, so no hail, no lightning even popping up like we saw last night. Temperature wise, we're normally this time of the year still waking up near freezing and watching for highs about like what this map looks like now. Normal high temperatures this time of year in Springfield 54 degrees. We're right now sitting at 50 and look at the Joplin area in Rogers. This is where we're seeing temperatures already right around 60 degrees. That chance for showers. Well, I do still think we could see a few more this morning. They will be wrapping up after today and leaving behind some strong and gusty winds as we head toward at least the first half of the work week. Overall, the best chance for any more showers, well, they aren't going to be moving back in until Friday night into your weekend. The cause for this next batch of rain, it's all linked to that blue line. This next cold front that's going to be sliding its way into the Ozarks. We again are not expecting those big thunderstorms like we saw move through last night, but I do think at least a few sprinkles here or there will be something to expect primarily throughout the first half of the day. Breezy conditions and some sunshine. That's what we have to look forward to tomorrow. So behind that cold front, we're going to be watching not only for some strong wind with gust at times over 40 miles per hour, but it will be a cool wind moving its way out of the northeast or northwest. Rather that breezy wind will be paired with our dry conditions. So we have a heightened fire danger with this, so we are not looking at good conditions to be burning. And on top of that, I think Wednesday that northerly breeze is going to be helping to drop our temperature as well. Forecast rainfall amounts. Yes, we do still have that chance for showers primarily before noon, but the models really aren't too impressed with this. I think they're about right saying that we could see maybe a couple one hundredths of an inch to up to a tenth of an inch of new rainfall in total. By lunchtime, not going to expect much of a change in our temperature either. We still will have that thick layer of clouds sitting overhead. A chance for a few sprinkles here or there, and I think temperatures for a high, well, they're going to be jumping into some low to mid 60s across the board. Southeasterly breeze on top of that, it's going to be upwards of 15 to 25 miles per hour. I think after that cold front moves through tonight or this afternoon, rather, we will be watching for more of a westerly shift in our wind eventually becoming more northwesterly and still upwards of about 10 to 15 miles per hour. It's as we head toward the day tomorrow that we not only are going to be drying things up, we'll even see some sunshine here or there, but that northerly breeze, it's going to be knocking down our temperature. We're only expecting a high by Wednesday to be in the mid 40s, and that's after waking up to some 20s. On top of that, dry conditions are going to be the trend as we head toward the weekend. All the way through Friday, we're expecting to be dry and breezy. Those are the two big red flags for us that could be an indicator for an increase in that fire danger. As we head toward the weekend, we will be keeping a close eye not only on the chance for more showers, but I think just like what we saw last night, the potential for some thunderstorms in the mix as well. And now here's that answer to today's weather school question. Hopefully you had a chance to think about it. So condensation, true or false, that releases heat. Hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. I'll go false. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> ah, no, probably not on this one. Remember, condensation, that is the change in phase from gas to liquid. And as a result, we get latent heat. And that's what keeps the clouds a little warmer than the atmosphere. So, yes, that is a release of heat and a way of warming up a little bit. You know, I would not have explained it that way. <laughs>
<laughs> There's Thank the weather you, aspect of it. We tied in the clouds for it, too. <laughs> this is, this I, is how I would have explained it. My thought it. process was, you know, in the summer, I always get that water on the glass, and that's kind of like condensation. In which is the cooling process and what keeps us cool in the summer. <laughs> so I was way off at the right answer. I'll, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're halfway to your, getting your meteorological seal, Paul. Maybe 10%. <laughs> Maybe 10%. Uh, the warning signs you need to